Hi there, welcome back once again to the Rusty Lathe project. So last time we left you, I had a message on my back saying it might be the last time that I use this solution on these slideways. So come across and have a look, see how we've gone on. So to sum up then with this Eastwood Gel Rust Dissolver, these slideways have now had a one eight hour session two four hour sessions and then a further nine hour session and this is the result so apart from these cloths and these rags These slideways haven't had any further aggression. So all in all, I think it's proven that it is quite a worthy rust dissolver. And here's the final result of all this solution business and these cloths. I've just been giving this another wipe down with this cloth and uh, clean off all the solution that's why i've got no gloves on and now although it still looks marked these are uh, indents into the machine surface of this so this rust here isn't standing proud anymore of this initial surface So these cross slides now, etc., should be able to traverse along this slideway here without any ill effect. I've just been measuring again with the method we used previously of dropping down onto a, a known point, getting this to zero and then coming down onto the known bad points and seeing what the difference is and it just keeps coming up zero now so I think we're fairly confident that this surface here is level with this surface here apart from where this is marked up this is actually indents rather than protrusions from so these slideways should be fine so having said now that I'm quite happy with these slideways myself, it's now time to sort this out and this. So this is the tailstock and this is the apron or should we call it the carriage and that's got the cross slide mounted on top of it. So let's have a look at this um, tailstock to start with. If anybody could give me any advice on how this actually operates on this particular lathe, that would be great. I'm assuming it's just an Allen key, which goes inside this front slot here, which is the larger of the three. There are three. And this Allen key fits into the one there. So I'm assuming to lock this off in any position, I would just put the Allen key in and tighten up this central gib screw on there. And I'm thinking that will lock that tailstock in place then to to increase the tension on the gibbs in general there are two smaller ones on the outside and what I intend to do is ease these two off slightly such that I can slide this off the end and we'll have a look at what's underneath this um, this tailstock here and see what we're left with on these bedways here so having said that, I'm reasonably happy with these slideways now. Let's see about removing this tailstock here and uh, see whether we can move this carriage back and forth along the bed and see what's underneath where it's been stood for so long. And we'll take this, this off and I'll take this down to the uh, club 
So for this tail stop, somebody suggested on one of the comments that I get a Morse tool taper reamer and um, pop it down inside the bar of this quill to recreate the same shape as this just to scrape any rust out of the way etc so that's what I intend to do with that I've also got a drive unit which I need to increase the size of so I can get the shank of that into this and then I will be able to drive it so that's one of the things I'm going to do shortly so I'll remove this tail stop now then and have a look and see what's actually left underneath there on this bedway I'll just ease off the gib a little bit and that one's loose already So there we are. I'm just cautious of these gibs because they're going to perhaps fall out. There it is. And that's off. I'll pop that somewhere safe and we'll have a look at the lathe bed. So we can see the quite oiled up these ways let's have a look yeah i'm very happy with that very happy yeah that's super the oils have protected that part of the bedway so that's good now i'll try and move this carriage along here and we'll see what's underneath where the carriage was. So that's moving nice and freely. We did put anti-rust agent etc. on this lead screw. And again, that's super, that's very good, I couldn't ask for that to be any better than that. The oils that were between the two surfaces has, have protected this completely. So now I'm going to remove this vice and tool post arrangement from this cross slide, see what we're left with underneath. And off camera, I'll use the same processes as I've used with all the rest of the rust removing to clean the rest of this surface up, etc. But this, I'm going to take it down to the workshop in our club and give this a sandblasting. Right, so that's one of the clamps that's holding this circular base down onto the top of the cross slide. Just one at this other side to get out. That's the one from the other side. So hopefully now this should come off. There we go. And that's what we're left with. Yep, 
again if anybody's got one of these lathes I'm just noticing on the underside of there we've got this little dimple here which is actually some kind of a spring-loaded ball bearing so maybe that's some form of indexing pinpoint to tell us when this is at 90 degrees etc rather than at an angle or maybe it's just another oiling point so if uh, anybody's got one of these lathes and can let me know whether it is an oiling point or some kind of an indexing position I'm not noticing on the bottom of this any kind of indent to work with that pimple there in case it is some kind of an indexing position so maybe it's just an oiling point I'm not really sure so the issue with the cross slide is then if we watch this space here and I turn the hand wheel I can draw this section towards me with the handle you can see it moving making this space less and once that's towards me if I wanted to move it the other way I would again turn the handle the opposite way and this cross slide should move that way but there's something amiss under here with the nut arrangement such that when I try to do that that stays where it is but the handle simply unwinds itself from the machine so what I can do then now I've created some slack here I can push that across there manually again I can draw the cross slide towards me but I can't push it away the wheel simply comes slack so I can push it so that's one of the problems I need to resolve next so if anybody can give me a pointer as to what's going on under here that'll be great in the meantime I'll get this down to the club and make this look a little bit prettier than it does at the moment okay then thanks for watching any information would be great thanks very much bye for now